So Adam22 tweeted out, It's officially been a week since I let my wife do a porn with another guy. I felt a little jealous at first, but overall it wasn't that big a deal. She's watched me sleep with hundreds of girls, and it's never affected our relationship. Sleeping with that gentleman has been amazing for both her career and our business plug talk show. Overall, I'm glad we did it, and I'm happy to report her vagina has returned to its original pre-BBC size. And then the pinned tweet on his wife's Twitter is this video. Hey guys, guess who I'm shooting with today? <laughs> it's finally happening. Wow, I did not know you were going to do that. <laughs> yeah, okay, so people roasted him hard for this tweet. Based Spinach responds by saying, a fate worse than hell. Omni says, smells like cope. Low tier God says, hell nah lol. Aubrey responds, I smell small dick energy. To which low tier God responds, I smell your pussy. Space says, damn this shit inspiring as fuck. Who wanna pipe my girl? D Wayne says, there's down bad, there's down tremendous, and then there's whatever this is. You've reached uncharted depths of epic fail and facepalm worthy moments. King Craig says, original pre-BBC size, ain't no way boy. Aldo says, Christ is king. Who's Breezy says, every hotel got the sneako chair. 529 responds with a guy crying as he films. Ovokosh says, was this a humiliation ritual? XKMX says, Adam22 while watching the video. Jeffrey Perkins says, says, you think this is the first time? I saw her around my hood just the other day. Volvo shows a picture of Sneeko and Adam and says, two cucks, one stream. Mikey shows a picture of Buzz and Jesse embracing each other before the end in Toy Story 3 and captions it by saying, nah babe, I don't care what people on the internet say about you. You go sleep with that BBC. Money quote tweets Adam and says, white people are insane man. Classify says, Batman couldn't beat me enough to get this info out of me. Juju says, Adam 22 every time he looks in the mirror, showing a picture of Sneeko. Technical says, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Elvis the Alien says, how is this tweet real? Boy says, I've seen homeless crack addicts live a more fulfilling life than this. Corn says, bro just dropped a Yelp review. Adam responds, her shit snapped right back after having a human arm sized dick up in there. That's got to count for something. Corn responds, heaven will not accept you. Hell will abandon you. Adam responds, neither of those are real. Leafy then says, whatever helps you sleep sleep at night, cuck. Adam quote tweets him and says, how many sex partners have you had? No offense, but you resemble some sort of botched abortion attempt. Not sure why this app has given you the confidence to be critical of anyone else's life choices. Generally speaking, I'm just ignoring the hate right now, but Leafy pretending he is in a position to judge anyone else's sex life cannot stand. Black Swan responds by saying, dude, you were pimping your wife out. How's that a win for you? J Trap says, Adam overdosing on copium. John says, there is absolutely no way you can recover from this. Your wife was happier to get the BBC than she was marrying you. Just saying. Net and Yuhu says, bro, are you gonna cry? Badge Plug says, you let your wife get cream pied. Not sure you're in the position to say anything. Leafy then responds, more than you cuck. Also, can you ask your wife out for me? Leafy then takes matters into his own hands by responding to his wife's tweet by saying, bet, 68% West African by the way, and dibs, next, your husband can film it. Peckley also shares this clip of Leafy trying to slide into Adam22's wife's DMs and shares the quote, I know I don't look black, but I'm actually 68% African. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, fuck the, fuck the, fuck the baby girl shit. That shit was a fucking miss. Yo, nigga. Nigga, what's good? Nigga, what's good? Heard your husband let you sneak out. I know I don't look black. Nigga, what's good? Heard your husband let you sneak out. I know I don't look black, but I'm actually 68% West African. You looking to chill? One in the chat if that's it, dude. Two in the chat if it's not. We just fucking smoked that fucking ass. <laughs> Alright. We're shipping it, bro. This is it. I'm just reading one more time. I always... I just want to make sure there's no typos. Tune in the chat if I should just send my nudes, bro. Leafy responds to the clip by saying, Bro, he's DMing right now. He's mad laughing my fucking ass off. He then shows those DMs, which start out with Leafy saying, Hello, cuck. I am live right now. Do you want to call in and explain yourself? 
Adam responds, no, thanks though. Tell them to buy her OnlyFans, you sexless fag. Leafy responds, we not buying that shit, homeboy. Adam then tweets out, kinda weird how calling me a cuck is supposed to offend me. I saw the video of my wife getting plowed, and I thought it was pretty hot. If that makes me a cuck, so be it. Leafy responds, L, and then says, the West has fallen. Mona Trade says, damn, she ain't even smile like that at the wedding. Comparing how Adam's wife smiled at him during their wedding versus how she smiled at the new guy she just just got to fuck. Allowing Mutant says, Yes, Adam, that's exactly what would make you a cuck. Zero Gravity says, This should have stayed in the drafts, G. I can't lie. Matt Kalia says, As a woman, I'm genuinely curious. Why did you guys get married and have such a huge wedding? I really am not trying to be rude. I just want to understand the purpose of marriage to you both. Spoilchin responds, He is just coping. He will never experience the raw love you and Tyler share. Baked Alaska says, That's the literal definition of cuck, bruh, laughing my fucking ass off. Ricky Berwick says, I would rather be crippled all my life than be a cuck for one day. SK says, I saw the video of my wife getting plowed and I thought it was pretty hot. Legend of Winning says, Kinda weird how calling me fat is supposed to offend me. I went to the doctor and he told me that I was overweight. If that makes me fat, so be it. Lo-Fi Republican says, If you haven't figured it out yet, Adam is counting on the thousands of, Yeah, that's what a cuck is, you idiot, replies. It's a ploy to ramp up engagement and direct traffic to his wife's OnlyFans, which he surely profits from. This is how marketing works now. Keemstar says, yup, that's exactly what a cuck is. Pose Law says, just stop. Legitimately, what is wrong with you? Nug says, never seen so much cope before. And speaking of cope, Adam started cope replying to other tweets on Twitter during this time. Abriel says, Vanillas really don't understand what a cuck is. Just because you are a partner to a sex worker, or let's say your wife does a scene with another guy, does not make you a cuck. Adam responds, tell him queen. Sneeko says, nothing will corrupt a pure soul quicker than porn. Adam responds, shut up cuck. Zerka says, people like Adam and the gay community love to get married to make a mockery out of God. Why not just stay away from a biblical lifestyle? Why the obsession to join them? I am not married because I am not good enough for it. Call it what it is. Adam responds, you were not married because you were a down low homosexual with a coke addiction. For your information. Adam's wife tweets out, I see you guys noting that I took my wedding ring off. Wouldn't it have been more disrespectful if I kept my wedding ring on during the scene? Adam responds, I was fine with him rearranging your intestines, but taking the ring off is where I draw the line. Garap responds to Adam by saying, isn't that actually what being a cuck is though? Like the definition? Adam responds, yeah. I'm just asking why everyone thinks I'm going to get offended by it. Adam then tweets out this picture of him lifting and says, I wasn't born with the strength required to let another dude bang my wife. It takes hours upon hours in the gym to gain this kind of strength. Weak men will never understand. Leafy says, very funny cuck. The quartering says, I don't know why everyone is shitting on you so hard. I assumed marrying a porno chick had this kind of stuff with it, but dude, from a place of love, stop posting about it. Just stop, man. If you were good with it, you don't need to keep telling people. It looks like cope. Tower Gang Jose says, Dog. That's 155 pounds. CCD Dev responds, Dude is bragging about benching what I did in 9th grade. Prickles responds by saying, I'd let five sweaty muscular men run a train on me before I'd let another dude bang my fiance. Adam's wife responds to him by saying, Ha 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 trained seven years for this. John responds, let me hit next. He then says, this stage of grief is called bargaining. Teddy Tanrantino says, this dude really a marketing genius. He probably gonna make 250k off this one video of his wife getting smashed. Some of y'all would let your mom get smashed for 10 bands. Young Alone responds, His dignity is gone though for a marketing strategy. Bowtied Ox responds by saying, My guy, this is only 155 pounds. My wife, who doesn't get fucked by other men, can bench more. Jake Shield says, Just take the L and move on. Trop Almighty says, Had me thinking them were 45 pound plates. Dr. Codenomics responds, Bro, the extreme strength it takes to bench 150 pounds. Turkey Tom quote tweets him and says, there is no benefit to tweeting things like this. You gain nothing. Do you like being bullied? Lex says, Actually, you have to be the weakest man in the world to let another man fuck your wife. Any man who lets his wife become public property is automatically the biggest loser around. Montez says, Yeah, it's getting to him. I'm crying. Log Fit says, People will make the argument, Oh, just let people live, etc. But this stuff pisses me off. 
Guarantee there are 16 year old guys slash girls who see this shit inundated with the propaganda without the nuclear family to guide them away from it. Actual Satanism. If I was emperor, I'd redact it. Doug says, never seen a bigger cope in my life. It's so sad. Adam then tweets out this image of him pretending to melt down because another man is holding his wife. Jayla responds by saying, only in 2023 would a man be bragging about his girl getting digged out by another man. Jino Zanadi OnlyFans responds by saying, you were in the same industry as them. Stop trying to promote your OnlyFans by bringing down your own people. You were the biggest part of the problem. Reven says, trying way too hard to make everyone think you good. Necrofrost shares this clip with the caption, Adam22. God damn it, Matt. I swear to God, if you don't fuck her, I'll kill myself. Matt, please, please, Matt. Fuck her for me. For me. Jeffrey Perkinson shows that Adam22 is 39 years old, and Spice Girl responds, That's crazy, I thought he was 45. Fetty says, Keep your fetishes away from me! Rhino says, Adam when he's asked if he actually likes being a cuck, yeah, I'm obsessed with it. And Intruvis Scoot says, She's getting passed around like a blunt. And that's about it for the reactions on Twitter to Adam22 embracing his wife getting fucked by other men. I would love to hear your guys' opinion on all of this in the comment section below. Below. And if you're interested in seeing more Twitter drama, be sure to click the video on the end screen right now. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video.